In this video, we're going to talk about why public speaking can be so scary and the best way to tackle this. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sharmila and this is Ashley and welcome to our channel Parenting. Subscribe to stay updated on all things related to public speaking because we post new and helpful content every single week. So the reason we wanted to make this video today for you is the number one fear faced by adults around the world is the fear of public speaking. And once you know how to handle that fear really well, then public speaking is going to be the magic wand in your life. Yes. Stay till the end to learn how you can get rid of this fear for public speaking. So let's actually start off with a small little definition. A really cool and geeky name for the fear of public speaking is called glossophobia. And this is basically a fear that appears when you have to perform or um, present in front of a group of people. Let's talk about the reasons why public speaking is so scary. Do you want to go first? Yes. So let me explain this in a more medical term for you. This is a very, very normal reaction faced by anyone. When you're faced with some challenging system, immediately the autonomic nervous system in our body becomes very, very hyperactive and it says, you know, run away from that place or it, it says fight it or flight it. That is one important reaction that happens when children especially are faced with this daunting task of public speaking. So your body is basically working against you. Oh my God. Body working against me. Wow. And I think that's why we start sweating yes. and, you know, we get nervous and, you know, you have a bunch of stuff. Essentially, you're telling me that we can kind of blame our body if we're scared of public speaking. Uh, the point is your body is such an important tool that you can tame your body to help you in public speaking. Ah, where well, there's a will, there's a way. I, you spoke about the physical aspect of public speaking and how our body works. Um, there's a mental aspect of public speaking as well. And this involves people's beliefs about public speaking and about themselves as a speaker. So if you're someone who's ever told yourself that I'm not good at speaking, in front of crowds. I am not a good public speaker. I am boring. The audience is going to laugh at me. All of these things, if you tell your brain that, then your brain is essentially going to believe that. And when it actually comes time for you to speak in front of a crowd, your, your brain is going to act up and say, well, we know what's going to happen. So we shouldn't do this and we should just avoid the embarrassment. A really easy way of getting rid of this is by telling yourself positive things about public speaking. It doesn't matter if you don't believe it. As long as you keep saying it, then after a point you will. And uh, that's where the saying fake it till you make it comes from. <laughs> very well said, Ashley. Very, very well said. So that actually brings us to the third point, while the physical aspect is taken care of, the mental aspect is taken care of, sometimes the situation also plays a major role. By nature, some people are very, very anxious, you know, they, they are not comfortable in large gatherings. They, they, these situations make them feel anxious. So presenting in front of a public forum, in, in front of, let's say, 100 people or 1000 people is naturally something that will cause even the best, best public speaker to be a little scared. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tell me, Ashley, is there a way we can overcome this? Absolutely. So we spoke about three things, the physical aspect, your body working against you, the mental aspect, and that is your mind kind of working against you and the situations that were put in. Now that we know that these are the three things that essentially make you scared of public speaking, a great starting point, and this is an exercise my mom made me do, is um, writing down everything that scares you about public speaking, right? So you can write these three things down. You can write about how, you know, my mind is working against me or uh, my body is sweating bullets or that um, this situation is getting out of hand because there are so many people there. And once you write down this list of everything that scares you, right? It, every single small thing, 
then what you do is you create another list of things that are the exact opposite of it so can you give them an example okay let's say i say i i'm feeling so scared okay that's something that i put down i am so i'm feeling so scared of public speaking but if i am able to write what is what is the exact opposite is like i am super confident public speaker i am making everyone happy all of that and the more and more you are able to tell it to yourself the more and more your mind starts believing it so it's like like i initially said you're supposed to train your mind to help you become a great public speaker yes and this is a great starting point for that and you'll see that you know it's kind of basic and it's sometimes pretty much all in our head it was so much fun hanging out with you guys today and we hope that this conversation was insightful for you and if it was we'd love for you to join the family by subscribing down below for more content related to public speaking every single week last comments so as always we hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you until we meet next time take good care of yourself ciao